Yes, I do. Most of all, I am thankful. You are just what I prayed for. You are just what I was made for. Yes, I for sure. I always liked <laughs> singing. So it's always been a hobby of mine. I've always been interested in music. And before I moved back to New York, I started getting into YouTube and singing. So I posted a couple of videos on my YouTube channel of me singing and I realized that people really liked it. So I continued and it really caught on. You know, a lot of people, they were requesting songs and they wanted me to sing. So um, I think that helped me to grow. I didn't initially start off wanting to have hundreds of followers and getting hundreds of views on my videos. It was just an, an outlet um, for what I was feeling and um, more people started to notice what I was doing and they started to request that I post more videos and that just kind of helped spread the word. And with the growth of social media, you know, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, um, I was able to post my videos and just tell people, hey, go check this out. And by doing that, you know, people share. And sometimes I get people who I've never seen before in my life who don't even know me, but they recognize me from my videos and they say, oh yeah, you're the girl who plays the piano and sings. And I'm like, yeah, that's me. And it's, <laughs> it's interesting because I, it, it almost makes me feel like a celebrity, but I, I know I'm not. <laughs> but it's, it's a humbling experience. It's good to know that people support you, um, even people you don't know. I usually just use my iPhone and I put it up on like a, some, uh, some books or something and I tape myself. It's helpful for me to do it that way because I don't take myself too seriously and I don't become discouraged that I am not as good as anyone else. It's just kind of my thing. It's the way that I express myself. And um, the only thing I want to say that's, that's bad about it is that sometimes the quality can be really bad. <laughs> I actually have a twin sister. And um, she sings as well, so we're both musically inclined. Um, but I think being able to have someone as a support system along the way who knew, you know, what it felt like to learn how to play an instrument and, and to kind of mold yourself into being a better singer. I got to middle school, uh, my father made it necessary that we learn how to play some type of instrument. So my sister and I both started to learn how to play the violin. And that's the first instrument I learned how to uh, play. Then my father bought us a piano for Christmas and I was so intrigued by it. I just started learning how to play songs based on tutorials that people would uh, post. And I got pretty good at that. The guitar is more challenging for me, but I just love how it sounds. like. The guitar itself has an emotion and you control the sounds that the guitar makes whereas the piano is just kind of, you know, anyone can press a key and it will always make the same sound. After moving back to New York after high school from St. Vincent, uh, it was pretty difficult. My sister and I, we were only 16 at the time and we only had a couple hundred dollars and we really didn't know what we were gonna do. We didn't have a job, we didn't have any source of income. At 16, you can't really make a lot of decisions on your own. You need a guardian for a lot of things. So it just became very frustrating. That's what made us feel most comfortable, even through those difficult times, was being able to go to church and participate in the choir and sing. We were surrounded by people our age. We didn't have to think about where's our next meal coming from or where are we gonna live. And just being able to sing and really express ourselves really helped with that transition. I think I gravitated towards Bob Marley just because his style of music is just so calming. I don't think there's anybody who I've ever met who hasn't liked Bob Marley as an artist. If you do your own cover, people are kind of like, hmm, I don't know if I like the song, you know? When they hear something that they know they like, um, they're more willing to give you a critique based on, you know, how you made the song sound. But when they've heard a new sound and, and you singing it, they, they haven't had the opportunity to really critique 
um, you against something else. If I'm looking for a response, I probably do a cover. But if I'm looking just to kind of express myself, um, I really have to just take that emotional piece away from it and not expect people to be um, to react positively to it because I know that not everyone's gonna like it. If I had any advice for someone who is looking to really pursue on YouTube and sharing their their music is just love what you do and don't worry about what other people say um, and don't look for too much reward. Find the reward in just being able to do what you love to do.